Like, don't be drunk. As soon as you pass that mug, that's man, it. you out of here. And you know for a fact already, right? They're taking this out from every single angle. What's the old saying? I don't want to sound religious, but the saying is you don't know the devil's angle. But really, the devil is anybody who's such a piece. Hey, check this, for instance, I ain't gonna yesterday, right? And you all see me yesterday, I was just chill zoned out there. It was my mama's um, Cosmo Day, um, Galactic Day, um, Omniverse Day, because she left this plane already, so I can't even say Earth. She would have been 74 years old, 74 years young, right? So I'm chill, in a nice vibe, I get in, I'm playing soul music funk, because I'm just funk related, soul music related, ex roller skater, and my mom loves soul and funk, she loved it. I'm playing that, man. Tell me 10, 20. Woman upstairs. Hey, here, banging on my door. Excuse me? It's 10.30, it's Wednesday. Can you turn the music down? I'm like, what? Please leave me alone. I was in the room. I was like, yo, my apartment, I pay the rent. I play what I want. Huh? Hey, you tell me, and you, and you a person of color too, you tell me to turn it down. You don't know what I'm going for. You don't know like I'm chilling, thinking of my moms, and selling sanitations the most high. And you come tell me tell me music. I wasn't playing like in the brand shit. What you saying like after forties and whatever, whatever. I'm playing nice soul. I'm playing Pendergrass. Barry, Barry White had a tune that came out on my mom's after, a famous tune. On the third of August, you heard me? In 1974 was his tune. You me? My mom was still playing in 1945. So I'm like, you know what? Yo, I just like, it's like the Friday movie. We went to J.H. Uh, got to an ice cream store. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, boom, shut the door. Let me just chill, let me just do me. Like, leave me alone, there's bigger things going on in the crowd. You know, we're hearing on the news, uh, sister, sister got shot in Baltimore. Defend that child, did you get that latest news? All right, so remember the last video I done here on the block? Hold on. When I said cut their news, their mainstream news, which is their prerogative, but they're never gonna give you the real 411. So they say that the sister's mentally ill uh, or whatnot. The one in Baltimore. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, they shut up the child. Told about yeah. So in the news, they, they would give you one story, but don't believe that news. Like, turn off the TV. And like PE said 20 years ago, turn off the radio already. If you have it. You heard me? And make your own media. There's many of us doing our own media. So get the real uh, 411 on, on the deal. You got uh, the beautiful goddess, Sister Ma'at. She hey, rocks out of the uh, camp of um, the Ami Wild Squad. Don't yeah. brother uncle and all that. She's a very strong sister. And a lot of y'all sad ass brothers, weak brothers, are intimidated by a strong black woman. Let me declare again, black woman is God, I just that. So they're scared of seeing a strong black woman who's on her cake. But yeah, Sister Ma'at, she's out of Baltimore. Yeah. She's up the same block that the sister got killed. Oh, okay. The same block. She didn't have family and all that. Okay. So this sister was going to um, progressive conscious meetings and working on herself. But naturally, like most women and brothers of colors, she was scared of the police. She was scared of the authorities. You dig me? Yeah. Now they initially stopped her the other month for uh, a traffic violation, like a ticket. Wow. Yeah. Gave her a subpoena, gave her a warrant to go to court. She never attended court, why? Right? Because she was naturally scared of the, the authorities. So, when they stopped her the other day now, that was what the warrant was, the subpoena to go to court. She's still petrified. So she's like, yo, hold on. I'm a normal citizen. Right? Yeah. The, your law is meant to protect me. Your constitution is meant to protect me. However, I've seen what's happened lately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you're shooting us out like open season for people of color. And she said, you know what? Let me put this on social media. You know you get the advent of, um, uh, Facebook Live and all these other gadgets I don't, don't know about, but they'll, you can go instantly live now, on even on FB, Instagram, you know, live, all these other things I don't know. So she said, let me get this on the record. Still killed her. In front of a child. As I believe it, the child got shot, right? The child was what, five years old? So, yeah, so I'm like, I'm looking, I'm looking like, I'm looking like, you gotta take that personal, like, if you don't take it personal, you'll figure it can happen to you. Please wake up some other couple. Um, me personally, I got a big ass family. <laughs> you dig? Not just New York, Connecticut, ATL, Georgia, Florida, Barbados, you know what I mean? And London, England. So I'm thinking of all the little ones in our family. I'm like, yo, I'm glad certain minors in my family are vacating right now because school is out in the Caribbean. I'm glad. When I see pictures of my nieces, yo, my, my, my nieces and my sisters, y'all know who speak to you directly. I'm glad to see the little nephews and nieces and all that chilling out in the Caribbean, 
sandy beaches, clear nice water, beach, uh, and nothing but sunshine. Yeah. I'm glad they're out of the concrete jungles, you know what I mean? Because it's dangerous, you know what I'm saying? And we don't want to scare people, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to scare people. A lot of the youth come up to me and ask me every day, like, Brooklyn, what's happening? Like, I'm like, yo, I don't want to scare people. Like, it's scary for them because they don't know it. We are elders, we're meant to, like, you know, I feel responsible in some ways. I'm taking the mantle of media. Okay. I'm not CNN. I'm just your boy Brooklyn Nuba out here. But at least I'm reporting on news. You're trying to educate. Yeah. yeah. So at least when I hear news coming from North, East, West, and South, every far corner, I'm a tune to someone who lives on the spot. I want to roll from a reporter. You don't know how I play already. So, um, props to Sister my aunt, but that I'm a rock squad. She's on the she's on the block. She knows the sister who, who they killed, who they sorry, who they murdered, who they murdered. Like straight blooded, cold blood, blooded, blooded, blooded. You know what I'm saying? Took them out in front of a child. What's that gonna leave on the psyche of them children? So she's in the area of Baltimore. This happens every day. You heard me? I want to hear from her. I don't want to hear CNN version. I don't want to hear ABC. I don't want to hear British Blood Clot Corporation, which you know is the BBC. I don't want to hear none of that ITN breakdown. They're going to tell me lies. They're not going to tell you they shot her like Bambi's mom. See? And now, check now. We're in London, England, which is the first and last state of America. Keep on telling you. And the United Kingdom and the USA are not countries, you know this, they never have been, they are corporations. So anyway, back to the corporation of London, which trades on the stock, stock exchange, on your birth certification, you know all that, your birth certification, on your marriage certification, you know this, right? I'm born in Westminster, I definitely know this. There you have it, in the city of Westminster, which, in is, a city separate, of Westminster. which is a separate city. It's a separate city. Check this out. Ridiculous. It's not even a bubble. It's the city of Westminster. City in the city. City You're in the city. City in the city. There's only other, two other places that work like that. City of London, which is the real London, which is Troy. That's the financial belt of Europe. Yeah. Square mile. And mile. you've got Washington, Washington DC. DC, which is the square mile. The president only presides over the square mile of the District of Columbia. And then you've got the Vatican. Same only three places. Which was gifted to them by the Brits and the Americans, which is the same corporation. You dig me? So the president only presides over the District of Columbia. The Prime Minister is only the Prime Minister over the City of London, the Square Mile, which they protected since they duck before RA and all that crap. But now look, yesterday's news in London, which is the most CCTV camera up place on planet Earth, bar none. Bar another, not even DC, Washington, right? London. Y'all say. The belly of the beast, the belly of the beast. This is the brain of the beast. Yeah, this is the obvious. This is the first and last state of America. You dig me? This bitch, bitch, I will curse now. It's not even curse, it's just the definition of it. The Queen Elizabeth bitch. And you all know what Queen means when you all the other night for sure. Queen Elizabeth, she's a lizard. Bitch, she's a bitch. Queen Elizabeth bitch. So, this, this one here, she runs it. And all your religious folk are drinking of the fornication of the harlot. <laughs> In your soul Revelation 18. Let's move on. Yesterday on the news over here, they showed you, and tap this out, don't believe that, keep it lying to you, right? They showed you uh, in, the, in, the, in the Metro and the London Evening Standard that the, the UK, Metropolitan London Police Department, are armed to the teeth. Man, they wasn't even playing. Homeboy, listen, all clad in black, right? I'm sure the black, black fatigues, yeah? Yo, dude had like four guns on him. One was a Taser, one was a Glock 17, the other was a Heckler and Koch, which they, they normally use. The other one, I can't remember the name. MP6. MP6, Glock 17, Heckler and Koch, semi-automatic. How the fuck did he have an MP6 and a Heckler They had all that, they had all that, they had all that. So he had one round and it was like, it was like yo, listen, it was like something out of James Bond movie. But hold on, we're in London, England, so it is James Bond movie. The only thing was missing was M. Right, they had dirt, you know like dirt, you know like dirt motorbikes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, they had dirt motorbikes, right? Off-track motorbikes. Off-track motorcycles, yeah, they can they can like um, engage on the sidewalk, so they say, importantly to chase down terrorists, but you know, terror, there's no war on terror, there's the war on terror is the war on planet terror. Anyway, they report it's in the name of terrorism. It's in the name, right? So, these dirt bikes, no number plates, no license, no, no insurance, no nothing. They come into you dark, cold. And they're ballied up. Ballied ah. up. With all them toys, all them new toys, all them new gadgets. 
man. Who do you think that's for? Come on, man. That's, that's, that's Look at it together. What's my name? The, my man's name? The Brazilian? The innocent Brazilian? That's a hit squad. On the, um, on the subway station in um, Stockwell. Remember that? What was that? What year was that? 7 7? Yeah, they that, called it that. Yeah, that's a hit, that's a hit 2007. squad. 2007. And they blast the homie to death. Yeah, that's a hit that's squad. That's a hit squad. So now people are scared of who? So imagine you're in a certain neighborhood, right? Or you're driving a car. Or, sorry, you're traveling in a car. I'm not going to get into that. Or you're walking in the road, your headphones on, you gotta walk, and that's what I'm saying, right? Your headphones on. Police call you. And you can't hear the police calling you. Yeah. Hit it to me on the train, like that. It's got the guy on the subway train in London, Stockwell, right? And they go, everything armed at you. And you and your phone rings at the same time as the police stop you. And automatically, you, you, your mom might be in hospital, your pops might be in hospital. Somebody you love, your child you may be in hospital. At that time. You, yeah, you may be waiting for a very important call. But at the same time, the police call you out, stop you, and harass you. Your phone rings or vibrate. You go to your phone, bam, you shut them. That's like the guy um, with the Cumbria with the armchair leg. And it's him, man. Yeah, the white guy just came out of his house. What's the guy in Brixton? Armchair leg. Uh, yeah, the cell phone or something. Yeah, it sounds mad this way. Yeah, what about the kids back in Brownville? They had a water pistol. Yo, this is counter. That's why I said I don't really check for bubbles, cities, countries. This is like global. They'll take you out. Because they're trained to do this every day. Right? Ironically, they're meant to be trained to serve, protect, but we know they're breaking niggas out. They're meant to be served, protect, and um, how you doing, homie? They're meant to like shoot to maim you. But leg shot, shoot to like take your out. Leg cats are playing and was leg shot, shot, arm shot, anything that's yeah. not your head, chest. Take up. you out, oh, shoot at your wrist. Yeah, I mean, scared enough. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> You're gonna be that out. You wonder why young people in the hood are like fascinated with guns, but hold on a minute. When we was in junior high, what what were the movies? You gave us Kurt Douglas, you gave us John Wayne, you gave us Burt Reynolds, you gave us pure movies where people they shooting. They gave us Bruce you Willis. You told us that shooting was cool. They gave us Bruce Willis walking on glass. You died 19 times. Shooting the whole the whole the whole building up. Yeah, what's, the, what's the movie Bruce Willis is in? Die Hard. Dying of a day? Die Hard. How many days has he died? He's still alive. He's never died. He doesn't die. So you told us the shooting was cool. Like like your like your stupid Eurocentric animations. Tom chases Jerry Hammer. I know you heard this before, but let me reinforce it in your psyche. So when Tom chases Jerry and catches him, boom, puts a mallet over Jerry's head, and Jerry lives another day. But in real life, that doesn't happen. So when the school when the children are at school now, elementary, junior, preschool, whatever, and they have a fight, and they go to arms, pick out the hammer, and they bash the child up. Yo, this is real life, baby. Your friend ain't living the next day, bro. But they think that's cool. And then you got people doing like fire shots, like, we call this finger shooting right now. Yeah, I'm pure black military, got bam, bam, man, yeah, another police. Man, you ain't gonna do a damn thing. You know that's what, what got, Bob, got, me, got yeah. Bobby Schmurder put in jail, yeah? That's what's talking, getting a lot of our talking all of that, yeah? Me, and, and starting to talk about, yeah, that's what it got to put in jail. Talk, talking about we at war, this is war. What do you mean we at war? Like, <laughs> yo. We ain't even got no tanks, ain't got none of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to curse, well, this is never curse, but niggas can't shoot straight anyway. So what are you talking about, like, you got tanks and all that shit, like, surface-to-air missiles? Yo, these people got, like, um, weaponry in their arsenal, like, sticky bubblegum machine. No, that was, that was, that was, to shoot you and make you fall off like bubble yum. You talking about you revolutionary, and you, like, fight the power and all that. Come on, man, you couldn't fight sleep. No, the, best one, the best one's microwave cannon. <laughs> Cookie from the inside and make you run away in panic. Well, how do you think they took out Johnny Cochran, right? Who's gonna go and fight the case for Malachi New York, who's innocent, and who's gonna fight the case for reparation? And how you thought they took out my, my homeboy, Kelly Mahoney? Who you should see, we see on the regular on 2-5th, that's one twenty fifth for those who don't know. And one time, and the danger zone, then I should, niggas. How you think they took them out? But when they do the autopsies, like, oh, so what was it? Natural causes. No! That's the sole called autopsy. Yeah, favorite one. We know differently. We know they can point a laser. Yo, listen. Set your cell phone. Do this. Set your cell phone to go off at 7 a.m. the next day. I'm not talking about the DVD 7 a.m., although that's a good look. What do you do before 7 a.m.? That's Claude Anderson. Anyway, that's the cream of it. That's the uh, urban. Economics, you don't feel on it. But set your cell phone to go for 7 a.m. and turn your phone off. How is it your phone still goes for 7 a.m.? And your paranoia will destroy you, right? Listen, they can hear you for your gadgets even if they're off. Yep. Even if they're off. So why in front? I 
got people who text me every every other month, every month saying, yo, this is my new number. Go front, y'all get the same text I do, yep, right? Yep. This is the new number, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, why you change your number? My number has always been 07930262124 Brooklyn New Bar. People know my number's been the same for like the last 25 years. From it's EE, before T Mobile, before whatever you used to call it back then. I forgot already, but I had one to stay up. One, one to one. one. Yeah. There you go, I stayed correct. My number's always been the same. But I got dudes in my in my timeline change the number every week. Brooklyn, here's my new number. I'm like, I don't even register no more. I'm like, why you got a new number? Oh the feds are listening to me. The fuck are listen to you? Are you that important? They listen to you anyway. If you all play your positions, <laughs> that's when they come to you. Yeah, we all got different duties to do. You know what I mean? I've not changed my phone. I don't care the first listen. I'm not scared though. You know what I mean? I'm not on the planet, so I can say what I want. Freedom of speech. I'm not bounded by these countries, cities, borders, you know what I'm saying? Boroughs. I'm not bounded by that. You think me? You come against me, you gotta go against the most high. If I be from the most high, then who could be against me? And so I'm not scared. So like yo, people like yo scared and all that. Change the number 20 times in a month. I, I can't angle time to put the number. You're wasting my, my, my space. What, what 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 they don't know is that what is it, every 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 key word that you say in a certain order of certain key words that you punch in. It's yeah. Uh, it, exactly. now, now now you've been recorded. Now you've been listened to. You know I me. Mean? So if you said I'm not even gonna say the words, but let I, me say. It. Don't text my phone talking about bums and all that. Yeah. <laughs> unless, you're, unless you're talking about graffiti, like, oh, yeah. I bummed the free train. Oh, let me put that in simple terms. I graffiti the number free train from New Lots Avenue downtown to Manhattan. I didn't bum it as in terrorists, like, put a device, an incendiary device. Come on, go to your urban dictionary. But now, hold on, brings on to another subject. Like, everything we say now, we gotta, like, come up with um, a disclaimer. Like, yeah, oh, course. like, I didn't mean bum as in, why am I even defending myself? Like, come on, if I'm saying bomb, yo, that girl looks bomb. What? This is the whole. Yo, piece. that juice is bomb, man. This is the whole reason. Yo, that that clothes you wearing is the bomb. I don't mean a terrorist fucking device bomb. Don't come and take this me out. This goes Ain't back. No to, this goes back to our Shit. history and why we come up with slang so fast and why we can have a 30 minute conversation, five minutes. Mm. That's why. Yeah, boom, 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 yeah, boom, 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 blah, yeah. And overstand it. So. Uh, oh yeah, with your weight with clarity. clarity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said go up there, link in there, and then there, there. We said that in, in five minutes. Yeah, mm. Mm. we told man the plan. Yeah, mm. this is why it happens, and this is why it's naturally like that now. That's why there's always a new word. Well, always miscommunication right now is the mother of all. Oh yeah, discrepancies. And people don't have to communicate with each other no more. Oh yeah. So I'm blatantly saying like, like most people my age. No disrespect to my people my age. I'm saying I want to hear from younger because it's dead. The next generation of the real food, we gotta turn over time, right? We messed up. We gotta be man enough to admit it. And I wanna hear from the elders, like, when was the last time I have, have your talk to elders? Like, this week I've been so educated, I've been to a lot of events, and I've sat down and listened to elders, and I've sat down and listened to children. So I'm hearing their anguish. Children are saying, like, Brooklyn, what's happening? They're shooting us down. Yo, is it gonna be a riot? They're, they're naturally scared and they can't blame them, you know what I mean? The elders are like, yo, what y'all gonna do? We don't wanna see you go to prison, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I'm like, go to each, each side of the equation. Don't just think like, don't be like, yo, a rude boy, what do you think the trouble? Yo, I take them out. You ain't taking nobody out, you know what I mean? You ain't got the guns they got, you ain't got the toys they got, you ain't got the army they got, you ain't got the food supply they got. They cut your electricity, you cut for life, what you gonna do? And most of y'all still playing your, your PS4 or whatever number they're playing now. To be honest. Crazy calm. <laughs> Yo, I'm, talk, I'm talking about subatomic kicks and, and metaphysics and, and motherfucking, and, sorry, discuss, and people hollering at me about Candy Crush. Like, what the F is Candy Crush? No, 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 that is the Candy, like, Candy Crush, Pokemon Go, all that shit. That's real distraction We're talking about right real there. issues. Like, that's real distraction right there. Yeah. Of foods in the now, the funny thing is, if you cut up every kid's PlayStation 4, I bet you they're still the finished. They're right, yeah, right over that. Yeah, me. No, they're finished. Because they, they, they've been fast forwarded into, um, into um, transhumanism. That's true. Which is artificial. That's true. And that's what they know, and that's what they're rocking. You dig me? That's true, that is true. But um, anyway, check this out. What day is it? I shouldn't even say that because I don't call saying the bullshit calendar, which is Gregorian, thank you. Go Gregory. So, it's just another day. Tomorrow will be another day. And we're still going to keep knowledge the same way. But the cameraman is hitting that he's got to bounce out. So, we're going to pause and we wrap this up. It's your boy, Booking the Bar, the Home Tree Stamp. Hit me up.